Looking to expand your summer camp program into the virtual realm? Summer camps are popular for children of all ages. They offer fun educational activities as well as unique experiences through in-person gatherings. When the COVID-19 pandemic spread, organizations had to cancel group events. However, with the need to adapt, in-person events went virtual, giving a new exciting life to summer camps. I'm Noel with Jotform, and if you want to learn the ins and outs of virtual summer camps and how to organize one for yourself, you found the right video. Let's get started. A virtual summer camp provides a great alternative for kids in areas where large gatherings aren't allowed or for families hesitant to participate in these in-person events. Although kiddos can't meet face-to-face -face for team building activities or interactive games, it's possible to recreate many of these educational opportunities in a digital space. The goal of a traditional summer camp is to provide children opportunities for entertainment, education, and engagement when they're away from the classroom. Virtual summer camps offer that as well. Children can still participate in activities, socialize, and connect with new friends. Since these activities are happening online, they eliminate the need for children to attend in person. This gives parents a way to create a fun summer for their kids without worrying about them being exposed to COVID-19. In the post-pandemic future, online camps will still be a great way for kids to connect with other kids from all over the nation, even the world, that they may have not otherwise met. Although virtual camps were initially a temporary solution for the COVID-19 pandemic, there are many other benefits of offering digital experiences instead of in-person events. Camp directors can cut overhead costs while continuing to provide quality services in an online environment. However, some parents may not like the idea of their child spending more time in front of a screen for camp activities. For the moment, camp directors may continue offering both in-person and virtual options to suit the needs of their customers. But most directors don't consider virtual camps a permanent solution. So you want to give the virtual camp a go. Here are a few tips we think will help you shift your summer camp business model to a virtual platform. It's important to define your model. While you can't replace in-person interactions, some camp programs can continue in a digital space. Identify programs that are well-suited for an online shift, ones that allow you to use current lesson plans with slight adjustments to accommodate online learning. Next, you'll want to identify your camper. This means instead of trying to provide everything to everyone, dial into your target demographic for these summer camp programs. For example, you might offer multiple types of programs for different age groups. It's important to set your priorities. Identify the essential activities you'll want to offer and determine your new priorities as those activities apply to the digital space. Creating a focus for your summer camp increases the quality of the experiences you'll be providing and can also help you avoid unnecessary tasks. Investing in the right software solutions is critical to overcoming everyday technology challenges. Not only do you need digital tools for live video events, but you'll also need cloud-based solutions for registrations, onboarding, hiring, and more. Choosing the right digital tools is necessary. Your summer camp will likely be a first-time experience for many of your attendees. Communicating the reality of this experience with parents and kids will help gauge expectations and overall lead to higher camper satisfaction. Children have short attention spans in general. This is exacerbated when they're watching a digital presentation. For the small fidgeters with wavering focus, use simple online tools to establish opportunities for two-way interactions. Creating an interactive experience will keep the kiddos locked into the current activity. Another key to keeping engagement high is planning for small groups. It's good to limit groups to six campers per counselor, even if that means you might need to hire more instructors and camp counselors. Lastly, no matter how meticulously you plan for a quality camp experience, you're likely to run into unexpected problems. Asking for feedback from campers and their families is one of the best ways to identify problem areas and places where you can improve your program in the future. Using digital forms is an effective way to gather feedback. You can use JotForm's camper satisfaction surveys to improve your program. You can also use JotForm's various forms to organize and streamline your systems. From summer camp registration and management forms to parent consent forms and more. Your virtual camp attendees may not be completing a challenging ropes course in the great outdoors, 
but they are experiencing a great connective and fun learning experience nonetheless. Let's do a quick review. If you want to convert your in-person camp experience into a virtual one, just follow these eight easy steps. Take some time to define the type of program model you'll be using. Identify your camper. Set camp priorities. What do you want your camper's experience to be? Choose the right digital tools needed from video call platforms and cloud-based solutions to registrations and hiring. Make sure to communicate your expectations to parents and campers alike. Create interactive experiences and limit your groups to six campers to keep kids engaged. Lastly, request feedback so your camp can continue to improve. Happy camping. Thanks for watching JotForm. I'm Noel. I'll see you later. <laughs>